Hi, my name is Jeff and this is my entry into the Honda How-To Contest in the category of home decor. Although this fence is a lot more substantial than just decor, it will add beauty and value to your home. My friend Sven and I put this fence on my house and we're going to put another one in and show you how to do it yourself. The tools you need for this job are simple. A post hole driller, make sure you have gasoline and oil for it. A level to make sure your posts are straight up and down. A tamper to tamp dirt around them a rock bar for removing rocks and slight positioning, and then just stakes and string. That's all you really need. Okay, there's three types of posts you're gonna be dealing with. This is a terminator post. It's for an end. It's got one set of holes in it. This is a corner post. Two sets of holes set at a 90 degree angle. It's pretty self-explanatory. And then the type of post you're gonna be using most is a line post. It's got the holes going all the way through it so the dowels go in and you run a line. Now your post and dowel fence is like a big set of Lincoln logs. You got two posts and three dowels. They stick into the holes and just snap together. In practice, the length of the post varies a little bit. So while you're going to want to put about a third of the post into the ground, you should always measure from the top of the post to the ground itself to keep your fence even. There's going to be some variation. Let that variation go underground. First thing you got to do is find your property boundary. This here is the survey mark. We're going to put a stake in about two inches from that to run a string line that runs the entire length of our fence. This string line is going to be what we line up the fence onto to keep it straight. Then once you find that, just put in the stake, Tie on a string, find your other end, and run a line. We're going to set the first post. It's going to be a terminating post because we're going to butt right up to this fence here. So what we've got to do is we've got to mark the center of the hole to drill the hole with the auger to put this first post in. The auger is 8 inches wide, so you might think that the center would be 4 inches out from that string, but we don't want the edge of the hole on the string. We want it to have a little bit of play. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark it 2 inches from the line and make a mark for the center of our drill. Turn on the auger, prime the pump a couple times. Pull it out. All right, put it in your post at your desired depth. That's square, and that's level. Let your string snap on it for alignment. Let's kick some dirt in. Yeah, go ahead and tamp that down. Tamp it in. Check it again. We got it, fill it in. All right, this fence sits on eight foot centers. So you want to measure from the center of the last post you put out, go to eight feet. And then, here, you want to let go of that? Then you make your two inch step in, just like before. Mark the center of your hole. Move your string and get drilling. Let's drill the next one. Put the post in. Let's see how it lines up on the line. Looks like we're going to be able to hit the line. All right, let's measure the height of the post. That's right. Height of the post is right. Okay, now what we got to do is put the dowels in. One, two, three. Finally, you check it for square again. And then it's just an endless repetition of repeating it all the way down the road. If you're in a city or developed area, call before you dig. It's a free service. If you were to run into a power line, you could electrocute yourself. If you run into a gas line, you could take out the whole neighborhood. Well, that's it for making a post and dial fence. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it for you. Thanks for watching.